It's amazing what winning a national title can do for a program. Got it. We have a new national champion in 2010. The 2010 FDU Knights winning the NCAA crown with seven players from New Jersey and one from New York, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. But suddenly, Fairleigh Dickinson was a name known in Israel, the country's junior national coach calling Knights head coach Mike Lopresti. So we're in headlines and, you know, we're on YouTube and everything all over the place. So, uh, you know, it, it was like, a, for him, it was a natural call for him to try to search out the number one team. Liat Wiesenfeld, the bowler he was pitching to FDU. I just knew it's the best team here and I want to be in that team. And that's it. There was no way that I could go fly to see her play. So everything was going to be video. You know, when I got the video, we were blown away. But the process of getting Liat from Israel to Fairleigh Dickinson wasn't exactly easy. It was quite a long and winding road that actually began on Thanksgiving Day when Mike Lopresti got a little bit of an unexpected phone call. And I look at the uh, ID on the phone, and there's like 20 different numbers on it. So I'm like, like, who's calling me on Thanksgiving? And it's Liat's father. I discovered that they were in New York, and they wanted to come visit the school. So somehow they were able to get to the United States on a, on a trip, on their own. And of course, I had to explain to them, you know, sir, this is Thanksgiving, it's a family holiday. I don't think I could, you know, show you around campus today, but I, I might be able to fit it in tomorrow. I met Coach and my parents and me talked to him. And it was a very excited experience for me. And from that point on, it was like, okay, this is it. They basically, basically verbally committed to us right at that moment. And we started working from that point on to get her accepted. Easier said than done. Being from Israel, Liat had to complete two years of compulsory military service, putting her two years out of high school. The NCAA's new delayed enrollment rule only granting prospective athletes a one-year grace period. Anything additional costs eligibility. So if she came to FDU, Liat would have to sit out her freshman year. The NCAA make, made a decision you can't compete. And I didn't know if I can come here or not. And this was the most difficult part for me. And I think it was like for four days, five days. I didn't eat, I barely, like, it was off. The Knights, though, stuck with the Israeli, offering her a scholarship and accepting the red shirt. But there was a twist after that. He sent me an email. I even remember the email. And, yeah, I was screaming. I was so excited. And when I came here, I knew I, I couldn't compete, but I still thought that I have a chance to appeal and make a difference. After you appealed to the NCAA, the Ott hadn't taken two years of a grace period. She'd taken two years off because of the Army. I did like an office work, but still it was long hours. And I've been through the boot camp that everyone do, and it was very hard for me. But it does get sticky because during those two years, she also competed on the Israeli national team, bowling for her country at the European Gold Cup and in the World Championships. Watching the emails, waiting for the phone day in, day out. I mean, I, to me, you know, I accepted it that we were just going to wait. But for Liat, it, 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 had a, it was destroying her. I remember during practices, every time coach got a phone call, I was like, <laughs> it didn't help. Eventually that call came, November 16th as a matter of fact, two days before a competition. I picked up the phone and it was like, I have a bad news for you. And I was so used to that sentence, so like, what now? Like, <laughs> and then it was like, pack up your stuff, you can go. And I couldn't believe it. I thought he was kidding me or something. Now she has all this bowling equipment in Israel. You know, it cost thousands of dollars to, to have ship all her, her equipment over. And if she wasn't eligible, we weren't going to have her buy equipment and we're going to help her get equipment for somebody who wasn't going to be able to play. So we just got the bare minimum. And then, so now on Wednesday, here we are, we're trying to go to, and we need to get bowling balls for her so she can compete. It was hard because you have the school and practices and workouts and all that. Uh, yeah. And two days, it's way too short for all of it to happen. Liat made it to Delaware for the UMES Hawk Classic, a full-fledged member of the Knights, with potential to grow into much more. Unlimited. She, she has the potential to be one of the best players we've ever had in this program. I mean, that, and that's, that's what we see in her, and I think she believes the same thing, too. In Elmwood Park, Joel Gadette, 
for FDUnites.com.